So glad that you did sigh. Glory, capo, capo, capo. We share a club that is divine. Mean happiness to me. Oh, Cory, capo, score again. Since the day you came away. Since the day you came away Hope you're here for a lifetime Can you show us is you that we adore? So then call it, tell me where Man, you for My Darwin's got the money, he's gonna win the league. My Darwin's got the power to make us win the league. My Darwin's got the fame to help us win the league. My Darwin's got the money, he's gonna win the league. One more and more people, just one more and more goals from Darwin. That's what he's looking for, one more and more. Just feed him the ball, Darwin will score. That's what he's looking for. Nunes on fire, your defence is terrified. Nunes on fire, your defence is terrified. Nunes on fire, your defence is terrified. Special Van Dyke, 
He's Virgil van Gaal. The touch was decent enough. It might break here for Liverpool. A sitic. When it can't go out and let the sun Champion of Europe, don't forget, oh, I'm a little Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your main man, Steven, back again to the Premier League recap, part one. From Aston Villa all the way to Liverpool. And we do Liverpool in part two, so part one of... Premier League match day 7 recap. Aston Villa 6. Yes, you heard me right. 6. Brighton 1. Poor from Roberto De Zerbi's men on the day. Uh, I know they heavily rotate their goalkeepers, but that's no excuse. My Frenchman Moussa Diaby silent. My Frenchman Luca Digny silent. My Frenchman Babacar Kamara silent. Ollie Watkins. Hat trick. In this one, uh, 14th minute, 21st minute, 26th minute, and Stupinian scores an own goal. Um, 65th minute, you know, 50th minute, it's uh, it's 3 1 because Brighton pull one back soon. The debut, uh, debut. Premier League goal, debut Premier League goal by Ansu Fati, former Barca man, the Spaniard, nets his first Premier League goal, I think. And the no Toma, no Solimars, it's Fati. But it's the only goal scorer for Brighton on the day, and it's poor from Roberto De Zerbi's mid. Alan Ferguson, silent, along with those other two players, silent as well. Poor, poor from Brighton, who I did predict this to be a 2-2 draw, totally wrong, zero points on this one, and uh, we move on, uh, 65th minute, Ollie Watkins hat-trick, uh, I did predict him to score a, a goal or a brace this game, but not a hat-trick, but yeah, brilliant from Watkins, brilliant from Villa, and brilliant from Uni, Emery Masterclass, tactician in this one. And indeed, Jacob Ramsey, 85th minute, uh, assisted by Watkins as well. So no wonder Watkins man of the match. And Douglas Ruiz, nail in the coffin for Brighton in the 90th plus 7th minute. Very Brighton in shambles. But Brighton level on points with Aston Villa in the table. Just behind Villa in 5th, I think. So yeah. Arsenal 4, as you know, Bournemouth no Arsenal 4, Boyako Saka goes 17th minute, not a surprise, pick up a knock afterwards, but yeah, Martin Odegaard, the captain, scores from the penalty spot, Havertz scores from the penalty spot, his debut Arsenal goal, let's say, his, what I mean is his first ever Arsenal goal from the spot, so if you start letting Maybe Havertz and Odegaard take the penalty. It's always going to go in the back of the net. Even a Jorginho penalty merchant player as well. Three penalty takers for Arsenal, but brilliant from them. Ben White puts the nail in the coffin for Bournemouth uh, in the 90th plus third minute. Uh, ref, I think a header as well. So brilliant from Arsenal and the, up the gunners and indeed. Uh, Bournemouth silence, so many Kloybert silence, surprising, so lanky as well, so Christie as well, yeah, so indeed, big up to the Gunners, we move, 
Everton Luton Town, guys. Everton versus Luton Town. Everton won, Luton Town two. Shambles for Everton. I do predict them to go right back down to the championship. And they're doing just as their form is inconsistent from coming back from a win against Aston Villa in the EFL Cup, Carabao Cup. And then losing to Luton at Goodson Park is a big statement. And indeed, Robert Lewin scoring the goal for uh, Everton, but it was 2 0. Be all before halftime until Calvert Lewin pulled one back. Tom Lockyer, what a name. I always called him Tom Locker for, for some reason. And then there was Carlton Morris, what a player. I don't know anyone from Luton, so I can't make a statement, but they can score. I only know Taiki Chan and Ross Barkley. I think Ross Barkley is injured or something. And Tahi Chan is not using the startings, in, integrated, I mean, to the starting. So, yeah. So, Dominic covered Lewin. Big Dom continues to deliver. But no, doesn't matter how he delivers, he will never be like Big Dom, Dominic Shubosla. So, indeed, big three points. First three points on the board from Luton Town. First win of the season from Luton Town. That's how bad Everton has been. We move. Crystal Palace. As you know, Manchester United. Crystal Palace. <laughs> United. Both Manchester clubs drop points, all three points, this match day. And I'm buzzing. Despite my team Liverpool failing through VAR shambles. Look at my part two. I'll get in depth. And look at my last stream. Last video on Liverpool VAR shambles. Go check that out. The link is in the description below. And the link is in my community tab as well. Go check that out. <laughs> Big up to Sam Johnstone. Big up to Sam Johnstone. For denying Rasmus Hoyland, Casemiro, Mr. Champions League, and Bruno Fernandes in this game. Poor attack from United. Rashford is not even scoring in this game as well, and it's poor. Big up to the former and now currently back at Crystal Palace after Vieira sat. The old man himself, Roy Hudson. What a manager. Big statement again. Palace do get. Wins at Old Trafford, but it's not like you see it every day. I think I saw it, the recent one was a 2 1. It felt like yesterday, but I don't remember exactly. Season. The seasons go by so quickly, as in order to go back deep into history, it takes more research, and I just don't have the time for that. But Palace did beat uh, Man United before, and, and I think they draw North City last campaign, last season. So indeed, Palace is no run over. Even without Zaha, you have my French at Mateta, Edward not scoring this game, two of my Frenchmen, and Eze, the English international, not scoring as well, former QPR player. Indeed, this is a great. I have Eze and FIFA Mobile, who's shambles as well right now. I don't like the new FIFA Mobile engine, how you train up your players. Stop the. It's pay to win. I'm not doing no pay to win. And I'm at 83 overall. So yeah, he's like 90 for pay to win. See what I mean. But brilliant Wally from Yotem Anderson. Brilliant, brilliant Wally from him. Oh man. What a Wally in the 25th minute, guys. And indeed, I'm buzzing. Onana. Is being way conceding way more goals than David De Gea already, and United in the mud. They are currently tense, and I hope they remain outside of Europe come May end of season. So indeed, indeed, that's what um, I, I don't, don't want to change my United prediction uh, because I, if I change my predictions and go horribly wrong. It will give me nightmares for until next season, maybe. 
I don't know, I get overreacting, I get sensitive at times, but it is what it is, bro, it is, I take stuff seriously. Jordan thinks I'm not serious, but I'm sick and tired of Jordan, bro. Uh, he, off the screen, it's been a mess between me and him. So that's why in the future I don't think you'll see Jordan Hyman LFC until he manages to can control his speech on Instagram or any socials and it's pissing me off. I don't even bother him because I know he's upset after Liverpool loss. And then I don't even text him because of that. I don't want to make him upset. He was supposed to be one of my best friends for a while and now we have a lot of conflict, a lot of things I don't even want to mention here on screen, so I won't do that. So indeed, indeed. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Let's not get about Jordan. Uh, just leave him alone. Let him leave me alone, technically. He won't leave me alone. He's not my mom. He doesn't tell me what to do. Come on, seriously. Leave me alone. But whatever. Let me do my thing. You do your thing. Seriously. It's frustrating, but it is what it is. It's mental for you. So, indeed, what a volley. Nobody was even marking Yota Anderson and what a strike. What a strike from the dang brilliant strike. We move. Shambles for United. Ten hag sacked in January. I hope he stays for the season like Pochettino as well. I think both Pochettino and uh, Tinsack might be sacked in January though. But, but let me tell you this. I don't want them to. Because I want Liverpool, when Liverpool played them, I want us to smash them up. <laughs> A little biased, but yeah. Newcastle Burnley. Newcastle Burnley. Miguel Elmeron in the 14th minute. Easy penalty in the 76th minute to round things up. I predicted 3 0. This is the first score on the board. Arsenal won. I predicted 3 1. Or. Or 4-2, I forgot. I actually forgot. I think it was 3-1 Arsenal. I get 3 points for that because I predicted Saka to score. And I think I predicted Odegaard to score as well. I have to go check that up. But yeah. Um, yeah, I get 3 points at least for Arsenal game. 3 points for Arsenal game. Uh, no points for Villa, no points for Everton, no points for Man United. I need to predict against United going forward. Uh, West Ham, I did predict 2 now. Big up to me and I got Bowen correct, so 4 points. 4, 4, 7. Four, seven, uh, yeah, seven points so far. Seven points so f No, one, two, three. Three, um, three points plus a five, as you know, four points because I didn't get the score, uh, goal scorers correct for Newcastle. Um, three, seven, ten. 10 points and the um, City game raw. But the Jared Bowen and Shuchet. Let's get to West Ham Sheffield United. Jared Bowen in the 24th minute assisted by Valentin Shufal, not a surprise. Thomas Shuchet. Michael assisted by Mukhe and Tony. Brilliant. Brilliant from West Ham. Just like I predicted. And yeah. Four points, seven points, ten points. Ten points on the board, baby. Ten points on the board. Um, ten points on the board. We move. Sheffield United, hacking bottom, bottom of table. Not a surprise. His name. Will Chris Welder come back? Left to be seen. We move. Wolves, Man City. What a disappointment from Man City. But... I'm loving it. The last time I think Wolves beat Man City were 2 0 away. Correct me in the comments, Premier League fans, but 2 0 away. I watched that game. 
the Adama Troyori brace and the commentator was well uh, the um, the Wolves Manchester City game when Adama Troyori brace and it was 2-0 at the Etihad I think and yeah this game is similar but at Wolves Wolves usually keep it hard to score at Molyneux I don't know what it is with Molyneux atmosphere but in general it's poor from City and Haaland silent again and you're missing Rodri and Kevin De Bruyne big time Mahrez as well, Cole Palmer as well um, indeed um, yeah the midfield is rocky for City and Wolves kind of won the midfield battle and Ruben Net Diaz like City fans were calling him best defender in England or best defender in Europe when they won the Champions League and then now look own goal just like Sergio Ramos a couple of days ago gifted Barcelona the win I know that's even more funny because he usually scores with Real Madrid against Barcelona or gets sent off against red card against Messi but whatever let's not get to that that's just funny those are some of the best uh, central backs in the world that's why I'm mentioning it but yeah Huang Yi Chen Huang Yi Chen indeed is a baller the, he's like behind Sun Hyo Min and, and Kang Ng Kang Ng Lee is down the pecking order but Huang Yi Chen and Sun Hyo Min is the future for Korea, South Korea and indeed Sun Hyo Min is uh, I think the for I mean the former Salzburg man Huang Ki Chen delivers again. The best players on this Wolves team this season is Pedro Neto and Huang Ki Chen Cunha to a lesser degree. Uh, with his presence uh, terrifies the defense. Mateus Cunha lays it off to Huang Ki Chen in the 66th minute, and what a goal! Indeed, brilliant from Wolves. This was a shocker. This week was an upset week. Week four of upsets, Man United lost, City lost, both Manchester clubs lose, Liverpool lose, see what I mean? And Brighton lose as well, see what I mean? Everton, I'm not even that surprised at Everton because of their inconsistent form. And I did predict them to go down in 18th position. And yeah, Liverpool... It's in the part two, so go check that out. Not enough forest to round it up. Not enough forest. I say, but oh no. Uh, one more thing about the city. One more thing about the city game. City game. Alvarez in the 58th minute before Huangi Chan with the direct free kick. It was in the build up to the free kick. I'm telling you this. 56th minute. Oscar Bob, the Norwegian, the only other Norwegian in this Arsenal team, as you know, not Arsenal, the City team, because I'm sick of Odegaard, but yeah, City will not get Odegaard, even though Dominic Rich says they are gone since they will get him, but no, nah, no, nah, I don't think, but yeah, Oscar Bob, yeah, indeed, wins a free kick in the attacking half, and indeed, yeah, so... Joe Gomez foul and uh, the Brazilian disaster class and then Alvarez direct free kick like he's a Messi type free kick. Seriously, Jose Sars never saving that. I think Di Maria and Dybala could probably take those kind of free kicks as well. I don't know, I have to do a video during in before international break talking about best Argentine free kick takers, top five. And yeah, let me try to do research and find them. So yeah. <sighs> yeah, we move to the last game. And then 
the rest, Liverpool will be part two. I did two Liverpool videos on VAR samples and go check out both of them. And yeah, so indeed, indeed, Forest won, Bradford won, guys. Forest won, Bradford won. I predict a 2 2 draw, so. I did predict that 2 2 draws. 11 points on the board. 11 points. 5 times. 5 times. Um, there's 20 um, teams. And that's. 20 teams. Uh, 20 teams, yes. So that's 10 games. 10 games. Yeah, 10 games times 5 is 50 points. 50, po 50 points? And I get not even half, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. I don't know how this point system works. It was just for fun, whatever. I get I get at least four games correct uh, scoreline, uh, but winner and not the scoreline, but yeah, results, let's say that. Rightful results. 1-1 uh, draw. Um, Nicholas Dominance, late equalizer for Forrest, but Christian Norgard, the day, Scores after Matthias Jensen, I think, in German, if I'm not mistaken, assist in the 58th minute. And Nicholas Dominis, what a name, assisted by Harry Toffolo. And yeah, let's have a look at Forrest lineup because I'm really curious on this lineup system. They had Hudson Adoy, Anthony Anang in the starting 11, and they still can't score. Mulatto Demon needed. You need to rotate Mulatto Demon and that Turner and not sign Mulatto Demos and leave him on the bench. Come on, Steve Cooper. You should know better than that. You should know better than that, Steve Cooper. And Urigi brought on Lake is a disgrace as well. More Gibbs White, why he not starting, I don't know. Anthony Yananga ahead of Gibbs White. You have too many options. Maybe you should use 3-4-3 three, three formation and use Gibbs White, Hudson Adoy, Diva Garigi um, at the same time. Diva Garigi would probably play left wing as well. And Martial not use, I don't know, I don't get. And then. Uh, yeah, I just don't get the system. For Nor uh, not the Forest, I probably can ma uh, choose the better selection, but yeah. But indeed, yeah, Bradford, vital point. Uh, Bradford should be the happier team because Forest have some quality player. And Bradford, I think they come back from a bad patch as well. So let me see Bradford in the EFL Cup. I think they chose the wrong formation, Bradford, but it doesn't matter. I would have favored Arsenal to go through anyways. And Everton as well. Lost against Everton. And people saw then those guys predicted, most of them predicted Nottingham Forest win. I'm the only one who predicted a draw. And yet, so indeed, we move on to part two.